friction loss calculation step number two is the Reynolds number calculation so you have to look for the stuff given based on that use the Reynolds number equation that suitable for this particular situation so I'm going to use this um, velocities in feet per second we calculated that and then the diameter is in uh, inches we have that information then a specific gravity of water which is one how heavy something respect to weight water this is water so it's going to be one and then the dynamic velocity is in centipoise so if you if we if we input all these values here 7740 times the velocity 2.27 times the diameter is three inches so specific gravity for water is one basically how heavy do it respect to water so that should be one and then um, the kinematic uh, dynamic visco absolute viscosity mu is the absolute viscosity is 0.9 so the value for the Reynolds number I calculated 58,551 which is greater than 4,000 so it says determine the flow type. So that would be a turbulent flow because the Reynolds number, which we have calculated, 58,551, um, which is greater than 4,000. 